So about half of Americans have high blood pressure. It's an all time high. But the problem is we measure blood pressure inaccurately all the time. And believe it or not, it happens all the time at the doctor's office. So in this video, we're going to talk about all the reasons why we measure it inaccurately. And then we're going to talk about strategies that you can use to avoid these pitfalls coming up. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Kenny, helping you build healthy habits. Today's video topic is about blood pressure. <laughs> what can this random guy tell you about blood pressure that you haven't heard about already? Well, I guess we'll see. The main message I want to get across today is this. Don't solely rely on your doctor to manage your blood pressure. There's a good chance that the measurements your doctor or your nurse takes for you are going to be inaccurate. I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus. I know that doctors and nurses are doing the best that they can but there are some things that we just can't control. I can name more than one, more than three, more than five reasons why your blood pressure is probably inaccurate. This is an important topic because doctors are diagnosing people with hypertension left and right based on wrong numbers. We're committing patients to taking pills that cost money, that have side effects based on wrong numbers. So let's talk about some reasons why your blood pressure is inaccurate at the doctor's office. And then if you're interested, we'll talk about some ways to avoid these problems at the end of the video. So the first reason is the white coat effect. And this is when your blood pressure is high at the doctor's office, but then it's in normal range when you're at home. This happens to quite a few people, anywhere around 15, 20, 25% of people. And our studies show that this is related to the stress and anxiety of going to the doctor's office. That's why it's called white coat hypertension, because the person wearing the white coat is causing you to have hypertension. So if your blood pressure is normal at home, but it's high at the doctor's office, then you might have white coat hypertension and that should probably be investigated. But the only way to know is if you check your blood pressure at home. And nowadays, nobody does that and that's gotta change. Reason number two is masked hypertension. And this is basically the opposite of the white coat effect. It's when your blood pressure is normal at the doctor's office, but when you go home, it's high. And this is way more dangerous than the white coat effect because it gives you a false sense of security. The doctors might never detect this. And so you're gonna go home and continue walking around with really high blood pressure. Reason number three, and this is probably the biggest reason, and that is emotions. You may have heard before that your blood pressure is very sensitive to your emotions. For example, if you're angry or if you're in pain, your blood pressure could be really high, but if you're sleeping, it could dip really low. But what I'm getting at is that there are so many emotions that can arise when you go to the doctor. Maybe you're anxious about a test result. Maybe you're excited because you're having a baby and you want to know if it's a boy or a girl. Maybe you're frustrated because you were waiting for an hour in the waiting room and then you were waiting in traffic an hour before that. So many emotions, so many feels, but the doctors and nurses can't control this. So that's why your measurements are gonna be inaccurate. Guys, by the way, if you're getting a lot of value in this video, go ahead and hit the like button. It's really helpful because it tells us what topics are important to you. Another reason is poor technique. And this happens a lot and it happens because we're human and we make mistakes and we're lazy. One example of poor technique is checking your blood pressure over clothing. You can't do that. You gotta take off your jacket, you gotta roll up your sleeve, and it's really inconvenient, and that's why sometimes we don't do it. Another reason would be when the doctor or nurse is talking to you while you're getting your blood pressure checked. And I know they're trying to build that relationship with the 15 minutes that you guys get together, but studies show that if you're talking, that's gonna change your blood pressure. And even if you aren't talking, but they're talking at you, that's still gonna change your blood pressure. But guys, there's so many other little reasons. Your feet need to be flat on the ground. Your back should be supported like in a chair. Your cuff should be at the level of your heart and your arm should be supported on something. These get missed all the time. And our guidelines say that you should take two blood pressure readings one to two minutes apart. And if those numbers are drastically different, you should take a third one and take the average but we know that not everyone's doing that. If you're interested in proper technique, check out our video right here. Another reason why your blood pressure is gonna be inaccurate at the doctor's office is if they use the wrong size cuff. A cuff that's either too big or too small of a fit on your arm is gonna give you an inaccurate measurement. This is an easy fix. All you do is pick the right size, but when it gets busy, people get sloppy, people get lazy, you gotta undo the thing, you gotta change the cuff out, and sometimes people fall back on using the one size fits all method, and then your measurement's gonna be inaccurate. So if you notice that the cuff is just not fitting you right, and it's not gonna be easy to tell, don't be afraid 
to speak up and ask if the right size is being used for you. I could think of so many more reasons, but ultimately I made this video to start a conversation. We're diagnosing so many people with hypertension, and this is a diagnosis that can change your life. You'll be taking medications, possibly indefinitely. And I'm not saying that medications are bad, but if you don't need them, then why take them? And if you were diagnosed with hypertension based on the doctor's inaccurate numbers, then we failed you. So here's my solution, and I alluded to this earlier, check your blood pressure at home. Don't let your doctor diagnose you with hypertension based on numbers in the office alone. Check your own blood pressure. If you don't know how to, you gotta learn. If you can learn to brush your teeth every day, then you can check your own blood pressure. Checking your blood pressure takes less time than brushing your teeth. We're all about building healthy habits, guys. Checking your blood pressure at home in your natural habitat where you'll be less anxious, less stressed out, will give you more accurate readings. And you'll have a good baseline to compare if you have white coat hypertension or masked hypertension. You might even catch your hypertension early if you check it yourself. Not to mention you're making my job easier too. And overall, if your doctor tells you you have hypertension, then you'll know it's not a misdiagnosis. Guys, we're moving into a new age of healthcare. There's so much more technology. We have gotta have a different mindset. Most of you are taking control. A lot of you are taking health into your own hands, and I love that, and I'm here to help. So ask questions, leave comments, subscribe for more videos, tap on the screen over here for a playlist that will help you get started checking your own blood pressure at home. Thanks for watching, guys.